this was an old piece of material that I found going through my mom's house <laughs> and plundering. And um, it was it was kind of pretty big, so I kept it for a long time, like I said. And all of a sudden, I, I you know, I came across it again. And then I thought, oh my gosh, that's like a great bag. And so I, you know, I even left the um, the torn parts and everything. And this one's, you know, like that. This one was pretty pretty easy and simple. And I just found some leather, but. Um, yeah, that came from my mom. Uh, then I just braided this little pole. It's just easy. Kind of like you're carrying, carrying around a, a, you know, sketchbook or something. I always try to keep a sketchbook or paper and pencil when I go somewhere so that um, I can do that. And then these were, you know, like the little tough and things. When I was teaching art, um, I had a lot of buddies, and this one guy would just would bring me things. I'm not going to use this jacket. You know, you find it useful or something like that. And one day he brought me in about eight sheets of this, um, I think it's tool leather, or either it, it, it's real, real crocodile or something, lizard. I don't know. But anyway, now this is, this is something that I sat on for a long time. I did I kept trying to figure out a way to use it. So I needed something to put on my junk in when I was riding, you know, and could reach in there and get it real quick. So I actually made this to fit the foot of my, the footboard of my car. So that I could carry my, you know, telephone book, water, you know, whatever. So this one took me a long time to construct. I had to um, glue the sides. You have to figure out all this kind of stuff. So I put these reeds in here to make, I was going to make a, you know, like that. And then you have, you know, you have to lace it up. You have to glue the bottom and everything. It's construction issue, and then you got to pick the right handles. And, um, so, yeah. It sounds like, uh, you know, you got to put a lot of thought into it. And you yeah, do. Really, you do. really have to design for what you really want to use it for. Yeah, even if you don't have anything on paper, and most of the time I just, I just keep things in my head and work it as I go. So, uh, yeah, this one was kind of a long day's process. And then when you have to put the holes in there, I remember having to get just whoever I could find that was around at the time to punch some holes in it for me. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, I like the things to be kind of, you know, it's kind of decorated on the ball and put that actual thing and some beads on it. Yeah, I, I actually the stitching is very, you know, it's it's out there. You're not trying to hide it, mm -hmm. and it gives it gives the detail. Yeah, yeah. I learned how to stitch. That's another thing. See, I went through sewing phase, and then I learned how. To, I actually learned how to stitch, make all these different kind of stitches, and that that came in real good. So I said, um, you know, so this one this one took me a long time. To, to do weeks, weeks, you know, thinking about and putting here and there. This is another necessity. Now, I had, um, I had an old bag from my mom's collection, and it was navy blue. This was just, just navy blue, had some kind of flap top and um, a lot of brass on it, you know, which I don't, I don't really care for. So I kept looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, and what in the world? So I knew that I could dye and bleach cloth. So I got a big tub of water, put some bleach in it, and just dumped it down in there. And lo and behold, it bleached out to this this rough stuff. And I just, it, you know, it's still suede and everything, but it's, it showed the imperfections, and I like that. And um, so then, I, you know, I had these real thick handles I thought would look good on it. And it actually was very functional. It's, you know, out of the tote with some structure and I didn't have to put the zipper in. <laughs> this is about the second or third one that I made. Probably about the third. I thought I could dress them up a little bit and uh, <coughs> you know just flat across. It's hard to reach into for one thing and then you know just to add some visual interest I just uh, put that be in there and then it's actually 
you know, a lot of women want this flout and they want to have to buckle it up because they, they're afraid of somebody getting into their pocket book. But, you know, when you wear this one real close to your body like that, you know, I guess that comes from wanting something to be locked up and then having to try to find it. So, this is just simple. Really, you can, you can just look in there and see. It's open, it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's actually, you know, you could, and you could put a little leather tie in there or something like that, but this is, yeah, I used this bag for years, years and years, and, I mean, they just, like they throw them around or anything. Once they're well made like this, um, you know, there's visual interest, and it, it's also very, very useful. Mm -hmm. Um, long, years ago, when I first started kind of junking, I call it junking, um, well, what is junkin'? Junkin'. Junkin'. <laughs> okay, we'll leave you on what junkin' is. Junkin's going to yard sales and going to, um, you know, um, junk stores, I call them, or um, assignment shop stores. And, you know, I ran across these African trade beads. And so I just bought a lot of them because back then everything was cheap. That's where these bracelets came from. It's turquoise and, and African trade beads, and that's what these are. And they, they really look, they really make something dressy, dress it up a little bit. This this was part of another bag, actually. I made, <laughs> this had been put in another one like that. I, I needed something, again, to go in the car right, right by me. And I needed something to just, when I had all my stuff in the box, I could just take this one out when I decided to get out and come back, put it back. So I had everything right there by me. And the great thing about that was I didn't have to take in everything. I mean, you know, I could leave my backup and stuff in this box in the car. All I had to take in was my money, my bill phone, uh, you know, glasses. glasses, yeah, stuff like that. And then the beauty of that was all I had to do was get, take it out and go. Out and, and you're on the go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I really do like this one. And I purposely cut it, you know, cook it like that. Yeah. So that would be that would be kind of interesting too. You yeah. know, this one turned out to be, um, I got a little pocket right here for something, you know. To me, it's in the details. If you got, like, just... Even with that big one, you know, with the snake skin, the little corners right there are a different color. Just, just little details about things, really, to me, is what makes it interesting. That's after, after I got, um, after I got my basic, you know, what I wanted to do there, then, um, then, then in the end, you go for the details. You can tell the stitching on this one is not very uniform at all. But it kind of gives it a, you know, yeah, 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 all the sides are different. I was just learning at that point. Um, but I do like things that last and that, you know, that are, if you're going to make something, you might as well do it well. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, still obviously still using it. Mm -hmm. Still got it, still functional. Yes. It's but, got uh, what do you have in there? I've actually got some, um, some old knobs and handles, you know, uh, screwdriver, what you call them, I mean, wrench, yeah, whatever, you know, just, just little things like that, that, that I know if I need to replace a handle or, um, or a knob or something, I keep all, all that in here. I designed all the hardware for my house, and I didn't actually make it, I, but I mean, I, I didn't design that I hunted for the design that I had in my head. That's where the jumping comes in. <laughs> I gotta take the jumping.